Both of these viewpoints at the extreme are actually quite narcissistic. And if you Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my face. It means a lot to me. Please remember to hit like on this video because it helps propel our channel to reach other women and it kind of helps propel the overall femininity movement. For those of you who are new, who are looking for something to watch, please hit the red subscribe button. Also join this community. We talk about femininity and we also talk about homemaking. My name is Cynthia. I am a former Miss Earth Canada and I am a millennial homemaker. On this channel, we talk a lot about elegance. We talk a lot about femininity. We talk a lot about ladylike living, but there is one word that I definitely absolutely love and that has to do with sophistication. I love that term. I am not the first femininity content creator to begin talking about this term. I know that Nicole Michelle from Inner Beauty TV is also talking about sophistication and I decided to bring forth my points on how I believe you can become a more sophisticated woman. This can also apply to men, sophisticated men. It's possible for men to become more sophisticated, but of course my channel is geared towards you lovely women. I love the term sophistication because it embodies elegance. It embodies ladylike living, but it kind of gives the connotation of leveling up a little bit. Like you are stepping into the world as a high class woman. It is a multi-dimensional word and it kind of gives us the impression that a woman is well balanced. So for this reason, without further ado, let me get into some of the basic tips on how I believe you can become more sophisticated. If you are interested in knowing more about sophistication, I would be happy to dive deeper into these basic concepts and once again, hit the like button to let me know that you're interested. So number one is childishness. Fascinating womanhood, they do an excellent job at describing childishness and childlikeness. As feminine women, we want to preserve our feminine innocence. But remember, like I said a long time ago, feminine innocence does not mean naivety. A feminine woman can be pure and childlike, but not childish. If you want to be a sophisticated woman, you have to let go of your childish tendencies, that negative emotional baggage that you might be carrying from your childhood. Please seek help in order to try to work through those problems. And there's also the more superficial aspect, your wardrobe, the things that you say, your interests. There's nothing wrong with any of those things, but if you really want to present yourself as a sophisticated woman, you're going to have to want to part with some of those things. For example, one of the easiest examples to give you is your wardrobe. If you are still dressing like you would dress your 10-year-old, you might want to reevaluate your wardrobe to try to get a more classic, timeless, and therefore sophisticated way of dressing. This does not mean that your wardrobe has to be perfect. I myself love casual clothes, for example. This is simply understanding where your inspiration comes from. I also want you to kind of think about the phenomena of extended adolescence. I want you to think about, have your interests evolved over time or are you living in an extended adolescence? The next major area is critical thinking. The sophisticated woman is able to see things, phenomena happening in the world. This is kind of a good time. <laughs> headlines or differing opinions and is able to ask the question why. I have actually talked about this in the past before, but you are going to want to evaluate all of the things that you see, what people ask you, and you're going to want to try to see if there's an underlying motive to what these people are saying. This is going to help you identify some of the truths in this world and it's going to allow you to have a deeper perspective on the meaning of life. This is also going to help you have better conversations with other people because you're going to be able to put forward a new perspective. This kind of ties into the next point, which is being fascinating and worldly. The sophisticated woman, we kind of associate her with higher education, but you do not need to go to Harvard or have a PhD in order to be a sophisticated woman. You do not need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. The internet is a wonderful resource. Your library is a wonderful resource. YouTube is a wonderful resource resource to learn about the world and to learn about history. I would strongly recommend that you begin with knowing things that are happening in 
representing your country. You also want to know the history of your country. And then based on your interests, you might want to get to know some of the people in this world that fascinate you, some of the cultures, and maybe even the history of your own religion. The next point we want to talk about in terms of sophistication has to deal with your social circle. When you think of the sophisticated woman, you think of people surrounding her that have a similar degree of sophistication. However, I do want to encourage you to take a middle road when it comes to this topic because we have two major opposing camps. We have on one end people who surround themselves deliberately with people who they might view who are not as up to par with them. I like to think about this like the hot girl effect and I don't really enjoy that term. That's kind of a term used by men to describe women who deliberately surround themselves with people who they think are less attractive than them and I don't like this just because I think that every woman is beautiful in her own way and every woman can improve her own appearance. But it's a good example of what I'm trying to tell you when we have over here this viewpoint in terms of social circles. And then we have on this end people who deliberately go out of their way to try to find relationships that will only benefit them in the short term. I want to encourage you to take the middle road because I want you to understand that nurturing the relationships that you have already built in your life is very important as a feminine woman and you do not need to leave behind these people in order to become more sophisticated. But as you develop more interests, more feminine interests, more worldly, more fascinating interests, I just want you to make room to get to know different people. I like to think about it like this YouTube channel. I still have all of my friends from before, but I have taken a greater interest in femininity and helping other people develop their femininity for the purpose of getting to know you lovely women. I haven't gotten rid of anybody in my life, but I have made more room for new people. Both of these viewpoints at the extreme are actually quite narcissistic. And if you want to progress away from childish behavior, you want to be able to recognize narcissistic behavior patterns that you might have. And this goes back to seeking the necessary therapy or having the necessary introspection in order to improve these things about yourself. The last thing I want to encourage you is to be able to bring your new interests into conversation with the people that you meet or even some of the people in your life already. I have already mentioned this but as women sometimes we have a tendency to talk about the negative in our social circles. Instead of talking about the negative, begin thinking about some of the commonalities that you have with other people and how you can bring about that in conversation. This is going to help you in your sophistication journey because it's going to give you more knowledge and you're going to have more opportunities to grow as a person. The sophisticated woman is not ashamed of continuously learning and kind of has this hunger to get to know things about the world. So those are all the points I have for you today. I still have so many things I could talk about when it comes to sophistication and I would love to continue the conversation in another video. Once again, please remember to stay healthy during these times. I love you all. I'm thinking of all of you. Leave me a comment down below on how you have become more sophisticated or how you plan to become more sophisticated. See you next time. Bye-bye.